Hello, thank you for coming to Steno 24-7. This is selection number six, 372 words on the subject of Highway Traffic Act. This will be at 170 words per minute. Ready? Let's write. Members of the jury, each party in this case charges the other with violating certain statutes of the Highway Traffic Act. It is the law of this state that a violation of any of the provisions of the Highway Traffic Act by a person operating a motor vehicle upon a public highway shall be prima facie evidence of negligence. This presumption of negligence, however, may be rebutted by evidence showing that the statute in question was not violated or by evidence showing a reasonable ground for such violation. The driver of a motor vehicle whose vision is obscured by snow and wind or other atmospheric conditions must exercise care and caution commensurate with the situation. The factors to be considered when determining a driver's negligence are the speed and control of the vehicle, the extent of visibility, and the degree of care and caution required under the circumstances. It definitely appears that both motorists were driving at a speed lower than the maximum permitted under the Highway Traffic Act, but the fact that the speed of a vehicle is less than that permitted by law does not relieve the driver from the responsibility of reducing speed when special hazards exist with respect to weather, visibility, or highway conditions. It was the duty of each of these drivers to keep his vehicle in his own lane of the pavement. This collision could not have happened if each had done his duty in that respect. It is for you, jurors, as judges of the facts, to determine where and how this accident happened and who was to blame, whether both drivers were guilty of negligence, which substantially contributed to cause the accident, or if weather conditions alone were responsible. Should you find that both drivers were guilty of violation and the violation by each was a proximate cause of the accident, then neither party can avoid liability.